Hi everyone, it's Claire here and today's video is the second part of June's eco-friendly natural products videos. This one is going to be focusing on beauty products, makeup, uh, skincare, that sort of thing. And I've been trying out a few new products over the last sort of month and a half as well as I have one of my favorite products here to show you as well, just as some suggestions, maybe some companies you've not heard of before. Um, so let's get started. Now, the first on our product list is one I have been using now for oh, 10 years, something like that. And that is Bare Minerals Original Mineral Foundation. It comes in an eight gram pot, like you can see here. And basically it's a loose mineral powder, but it's not like a powder. It doesn't settle in like lines or anything. And it has this little shaker pot and you can put this across if you're planning to travel with it, etc. But I just leave it open as it goes on my dressing table. And basically what you do is tap out into the lid the amount that you would use of cocoa powder on a hot chocolate swirl your brush in it and then swirl it around on your face and the minerals react with the heat in your skin the warmth in your skin and it creates kind of a really natural finish foundation that you can build you can have light coverage or build it all the way up to full coverage foundation with this product it covers really great. They have a huge selection of colours from the palest pal, which is what I have that's fair, all the way up to the darkest, deepest skin, the blur, cannot speak, skin tones, which um, means there is something for everyone. It's about £22 a pot last time I purchased it, I think. And a pot of this lasts me using it every single day about six months so it really is an economical product to use compared to some liquid foundations out there now when it comes to parabens and chemicals etc in the mineral products now there is the mineral foundation there is mineral eyeshadows blusher bronzer eyeliner finishing powders a whole range the only thing that's in them is minerals there's no bulkers no fillers no chemicals preservatives parabens anything like that so they're completely you know a natural product now they've recently started doing skincare and some liquid foundation products and stuff and i have not looked into those because i always use the uh, mineral products so it's worth checking out their website if you're interested in their liquid foundation, for example. But these ones are all completely fine. They do not test on animals or associate with companies that test on animals. Um, however, their products are not um, vegetarian or vegan labelled. Now, the reason for this, and it's not all products, so if you are vegetarian or vegan I would give them a ring go on their website visit one of their counters because John Lewis uh, Debenhams Boots um, many of them have counters of bare minerals these days go in and ask but some of their products contain carmine which you may or may not have heard of and that is basically um, color from the cochineal insect now it is not in all of their products. It is a red pinkish color. And the products it is in, they label clearly that they contain carmine. So if you are vegetarian, um, then you will want to avoid that product. Then when it comes to their brushes, again, they are fully, what's the word? Um, oh, I can't, like open about it they, they have a section on their website the people on the counters are really up on it so they know how to help you they have two ranges of brushes one is made with natural hair which comes from ponies and goats now no animals are harmed getting those hairs they are not from the meat trade um like from carcasses and skin and hair that's been removed etc 
no animals are harmed. But if you want to avoid animal hair brushes, they have a full range of synthetic brushes, which are the brushes I have. So you have to be a bit more fussy and picky with your products with them, but their products are great and they're really economical. Um, so like I say, you have to do a little bit more work, but they have brushes that are suitable for vegans. They have um, products that are animal free, etc. So have a look into that. So that's Bare Minerals. The next one is Avalon Organics. Um, you get 355 mil and I paid just over £7 for this. Um, their organic ingredients are certified. This particular one is 70% organic. It does not have synthetic fragrances, um, sulfates, parabens, anything nasty like that in there. Uh, bottles are made of recyclable plastic and are fully recyclable. Um, on the back here, it explains... Oh, Come on, focus in a bit more detail if we can ever get it to focus. There we go. The things that they don't include and what they do include, etc. So if you want to pause here, you can do that and have a read. Um, the ingredients are labelled really clearly so you know what everything is in there. Um, these products are vegetarian. There's no animal testing again. No SLS, no parabens, nothing nasty. They are not vegan. I had a look myself and I can't find why they would not be vegan. I can't see any dairy in there, but maybe I'm missing something or maybe some of the products are and some aren't. I don't know. That might be something you have to look into if you're vegan, but these are perfectly suitable for um, vegetarians. Uh, the product itself is great. It smells really nicely of lavender, not too strong, not too subtle. It leaves your skin really, really soft and you don't need a lot of it. A little goes a long way when you're in the shower or the bath. It actually foams brilliantly considering there's no SLS or unnatural foamers in there. This foams great and like I say, economical. I've used about that much in five or six weeks and um i've been really pleased with it so i think i will probably try more products from this range they do hand soaps they have a wide range of shampoos and conditioners all different fragrances as well um so that might be something you want to check out the next is my shampoo and conditioner which is from green people like so Again, they have organic ingredients and they tell you clearly the percentage, which is what I really like with these products. I don't like some products, they call them organic. And then you have a look on the back and there's like 2% organic ingredients in there. So I like the fact that it's been very clear on all these products. I went for the sensitive scent free shampoo, but they do do a range of scented shampoos that are scented with essential oils if you prefer a scent. Then on the back, as you can see down here, it is vegan and it carries the symbol for that. The packaging is recyclable. Um, again, certified product. All the ingredients listed are very clear. And at the top here, it has all your information of what is not included in here. So no gluten, SLS, harsh foaming agents, colorants, petrochemicals, lots of things. Plus 10%, as you can see, of the net profit is donated to charity. So all in all, I really like this product. It goes a lot further. I was using a Kin shampoo and conditioner, um, which I was getting from Holland and Barrett, but it was proving to be quite expensive as I was going through a large amount of it as I have very long hair. You only need a small amount with this. It still foams loads, so you're getting that clean feeling. If you don't like some of the natural shampoos and conditioners out there that you've tried and the shampoo doesn't foam and you don't like that, this one foams really well. Uh, the products are around the £10.50 mark each and the range does moisturise, like a full skincare, cleanse, tone, moisturise. 
they do makeup, suntan lotion, um, fake tan. There's loads of stuff on their website you might be interested in going and having a look at. I plan to try more of their products in future as I've really liked using these and they've proven much more economical than my previous shampoo and conditioner. I also like that there's quite a big emphasis on science with this company. They really research their ingredients because although we're like a lot of us like to change to eco-friendly natural products the problem is sometimes they just don't work they don't work as good as the ones that you can buy you know at the your general shops when you're out shopping they don't work as well as some of the big brands out there that aren't natural and that do contain parabens you want your products to be natural and healthy and safety for safe for you, but you don't want them to not do the job. So for me, over the years, I've tried so many and wasted so much money, I have to say, on some products that have claimed natural and to do this and that. So it's refreshing when I find products that do what they say, and this really cleans your hair well. I have very thin hair that I have to wash daily. Um... So it can be prone to getting greasy and this really cleans the hair. So last but not least on our list is another new brand that I've been trying called, I think it's Pi. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, I should have checked into that before I made this video. But whatever, that's how you say it. And I have got their Calming Chamomile Rosehip and Chamomile Day Cream. That was a mouthful to get out, wasn't it? Now, this brand I really like. It is vegan. Again, they list the percentage of organic ingredients quite clearly for you. Um, the vegan symbols here, they are certified by the Soil Association as organic for their ingredients, which means they've spent the extra time and money getting that certification. They have the Leaping Bunny for animal friendliness. But a massive thing with this product that really drew me to it in the store was if you have a look at the packaging, they list the um, chemical or lab name, if you like, for each of the ingredients in the product. And then they tell you in plain old English what on earth it is and also what it's used for. So, for example, this one is an emulizer from wheat seed that's gluten free. Down here, we have got... Where is it? Another emulizer from Sustainable Palm Oil. Come on, camera. You know, so everything's really labelled clearly. Preservative from coconut oil. You know what you're getting. Everything that's organic has a star next to it. So again, very clear labelling, which is very, very important to me. Now, up here, it says some of the things that are not in the product. Their sensitive skin range is suitable for people with rosacea. So as you can see, it says about being rosacea friendly. So there's no alcohol, witch hazel, or eucalyptus, things that can trigger or worsen rosacea. They also have um, ranges for oily skin, dry skin, mature skin, if you want an anti-aging product. So the range is quite extensive. It is a bit more expensive than some of the other ranges out there. I mean, I think this moisturiser was about £30. I find it hard to remember, but I remember thinking at the time that's quite dear and quite an investment. So I was really hoping it was going to work. The good thing about this brand as well, which I must mention before I forget, if you buy the products from their website and you buy the full sizes, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee on them. So if they don't work for you, if you're allergic to them, if you don't see the results, you can send that product back for a refund. So that's really great if you're thinking of trying a new range and it is a bit more expensive and you're thinking, I just can't buy it. And if it doesn't work, it's going to sit on the side with 10 other products that you've tried. This is a really good brand to go for. Now, packaging wise, it comes in a glass bottle and has plastic top, etc., and the um, packaging is fully recyclable. You get 50 ml, come on, it's because that box in the way. 
you get 50 ml in here. Now I've been using this for six weeks now, every single day, and that's how much I've used. And I've been using about one and a half pumps of the product. So you can see that this is gonna last a good time and be economical, even though it is a slightly higher price range. They also do cleansers, um, toners, moist, like other ranges of moisturizers and lots of other natural products. So it's worth checking out their website and having a little look-see. Um, as I say, what really drew me to this was the transparency and the part, the fact that it is vegan and soil association for the organic, um, oh God, ingredients that are in it i cannot speak today so i thought it would be worth the investment and it works really great now my last thing i'm going to say on organic and natural products is if you are swapping over and you've been using a standard supermarket range or something from you know the standard shelves in boots or whatever and you want to change and you're thinking well everything is quite expensive it's going to be a bit of an investment there is different price ranges out there within the natural and organic market so definitely have a look around check out reviews online um, so you can see how other people have liked them but if you're going to invest there is one major thing that i would say to make your skincare work better last longer and also a money saving tip and that's that if you're paying for a great cleanser, a great moisturizer, then you want them to work. You want them to get in the skin. So you really need to exfoliate a couple of times a week because that gets rid of the dead skin cells and allows your cosmetics to penetrate the skin and give the effects that you want, especially if you are using anti-aging products. However, we don't want to pay for an exfoliator some of them can be really harsh if you've got sensitive skin finding an exfoliator can be hellish they can break you out in spots if you have oily skin it it's one of those things you have to pay for it plus it doesn't always work and you can end up trying three or four of them i highly recommend going to the supermarket and getting yourself a bag of ground almonds then empty it into a jar or a resealable container then twice a week, take a teaspoon of it and mix it in with your cleanser, be it a cream cleanser, a balm cleanser, whatever it is that you use, and massage it all over your face in circles. Then rinse it off and you will have the most amazingly exfoliated soft skin you can imagine that's cost you a fraction of the price of an exfoliator is great for sensitive skin. So even if you've got really sensitive skin, rosacea, stuff like that, you can try this. Do a small patch test first, obviously. But it is really, really gentle as you can get. You can also add a tablespoon of it to your in-shower product to exfoliate your body before you moisturize when you get out the shower. And it's a great way to be cheap, exfoliate, stay natural still, but barely have to spend any extra money, plus get all your products to work better and last longer. Because if you exfoliate your skin, body and face, you will find you use less moisturizer. So that is my tip at the end that I didn't know I was gonna put in there, but I suddenly thought of it and thought, hey ho, let's spread the love and give my tips out, even if you don't want them. <laughs> So that's it from me. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will be back soon.